Congratulations to the Heart of Midlothian, the champions of the SPFL Championship. And Hearts are back in the Premiership at the first time of asking. Congratulations then to their head coach, Robbie Nielsen, who joins us now from Stirling. How does that feel, Robbie? Yeah, it's a fantastic achievement. It's a, a great day for the club. You know, it's a testament to the, the support we've had all season from the fans and you know, the hard work from Anne Budge, Craig Levine and all the players. They've been magnificent this season. You know, everything I've asked them to do, they've done it and they deserve every minute of it. What's been key for you, Robbie? I think the, the, the key factor has been the hard work from the players. You know, they bought into the change of um, training regime. You know, they're working hard and they've deserved everything. You know, I couldn't ask any more. Every day at training, they give everything. Every game, they give everything to me and to a man, they've been f fantastic this season. How important was that first victory over Rangers in the first weekend of the season for you? Yeah, I think it was a huge one for us in, in morale terms, also for the fans. You know, a lot of times when you go to Ibrox and you go a go ahead and you lose a goal towards the end, you're, you're hanging on, hoping you'll get a draw out of it. You know, but we went straight up the park again, scored another goal to get the three points. Now, I think it set the tone for the whole season and it gave us a real belief that we can go on and win the trophy and, and we've done it, which is magnificent. You're 23 points clear with 21 to play for. You've won it by a country mile. We've known for weeks that you're going to win it. When did you realise that this was this was in the bag? I, I don't think you ever you take things for granted until you're finally over the line, but I think the Queen of the South game is a big one for us away from home. We, we went a goal behind and we had to fight back to get three points and we eventually got there. And, I, and from that from then on, I thought, you know, we've got a real chance of taking the league and, you know, to finally go over the line is magnificent for us and it's a great day for the club but you know, the fans have been, as I said earlier, magnificent for us and they deserve everything they get today and you know, I'm sure they'll have a great night and a great few weeks. The points record tally in the second tier is 89 points. Hibs got that back in 1999 in the old first division. You, if you win all your games, could reach 99 points and smash that record. Is that your next target now? Yeah, the next target is to is to win the next game. We've got a big game against Queen of the South at the weekend and we want to just do what we've done all season, which is take it game by game. You know, if we could set a new record for the points, it'd be fantastic, but the objective for the season was to get promoted. We've done that and now we need to, you know, reassess things for next season, but also continue to win games. You know, when you play that club of half stats, you have to win games and that's what we need to do at the weekend. Robbie, it's Neil McCann here. Congratulations. It's been a magnificent achievement. Superb job done. Thank you. Thank you. Robbie, I know you've, you've maybe been taken surprise, or maybe you've not been um, taken by surprise at how good this young team have been. We get winning the championship so early, does that now allow you to fully focus on next year and give you a, a, a jump ahead of everyone that you can now start to build and get your plans in place? Yeah, it definitely helps with recruitment. You know, we can now go you know, and really source the players we want to get. We can speak to players, we can also speak to the players at the club and renegotiate the contracts and keep a hold of them because there's some guys that have been fantastic for us this season and we need to try and get a hold of. So it does give us a bit of a head start, but you know, it's everything in football, you have to win the next game as well. So we've still got seven games to go and we want to take maximum points from it. So you know, we won't be losing focus and looking too far ahead. Yes, we can plan, but we must make sure that when we place Queen of the South at home on Saturday, we get another three points. Well, that's what I was going to say. My next question was, you've still got seven games there. Um, have you set the boys targets and will we see you introducing some more of those young kids in the under 20s just to give them a flavour of it and, a, and some experience should you need them next year? Yeah definitely, you know, we'll rotate the squad, you know, there's guys that have had a lot of game time this year that will get game time but you know, we still have to win games as well, you know, when you, as I said when you play a club of half stats you have to win, you know, we can't be turning up at, at venues and losing so we'll win the game first and foremost and we'll have to try and also get players involved, you know, we've got a lot of young players that are coming through that could do a lot of game time and it'll, it'll give them a good basis for next year as well, so you know, I expect to rotate the squad over the next few weeks. Well done Robbie, cheers mate. Well Robbie, enjoy the night tonight, I can see behind you there the Thanks Wallace Monument me. at Stirling there, you might have Thank to go you. there, the Lee Wallace Monument at Tyne Castle, because that was a crucial goal today. Enjoy your night mate, well done. Thank you. I tell you what, it must have been a tough coaching uh, <laughs> uh, course for him today with, uh, with his mind elsewhere and uh, mind uh, elsewhere in events here. Now yesterday they, uh, they pushed themselves over the line with that win against Falker and did this game you know, against the last team, the only team to have beat them in the league, just sum up what Hearts have done all season? 
Yeah, I was interested when I was watching these goals coming in because you, you, you think that Hearts are they're playing sparkling football and, and there's so much thrust and energy about their play, but a couple of the goals are, 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 are balls banged over the top of the fences and turning people. But the beauty of what Robbie's done this year is you think he, when he's lost a couple of players, he's brought, he's brought guys into the team and they've not really affected, affected the team adversely. He's changed tactics, he's changed the way they play, but the one thing they do, and that's reflected on how many goals they've scored, they take shots at goals, they go and, they go and force teams to defend against them, they take opportunities, and they've been absolutely clinical. And all the Hearts fans who have turned up this year to watch them must be sitting rubbing their hands and thinking, what mm -hmm. an exciting team that I've got here to, to go into the Premiership next year.